everyone, gather around. Chibi Maruko-chan is about to start. It's February the 14th. This day really has nothing to do with us, you know. Mm. I feel a bit sad, but it's the destiny of a boy with no appeal whatsoever. I wonder what it feels like to give some chocolate to a boy you fancy. I want to try and give some to someone, but I have no one to pick out. So give some to your dad. I give chocolate to my dad every year this day. To your father? Is he happy to get chocolate from you? Mm-hmm. He eats it all happily every time. Honestly, I don't know if my dad will be happy. I've never seen him eating anything sweet before. I wouldn't worry at all. I'm sure he will be happy to receive anything from his daughter. Oh, how I envy that person. Hey, Amane. Take a look at me. That'll never happen to me. I've got a weak stomach. I'm no good at any sports. I'm indecisive, and I... I've got no appeal whatsoever. Huh? What do you mean? Of course you've got appeal. Are you serious? What are the good points about me? Uh, let's see. What are Yamane's good points? Well, there's, uh... mara you're in trouble again. Oh, that's right. I saw it about three months ago. You were crossing the street and you noticed an old lady that needed help, so you took her hand. Uh, uh, at that time, I was really... You don't know how moved I was when I saw that. I thought... What a good guy that Yamane is. It's almost criminal that no one gives chocolate to such a kind person. Young girls these days don't have an eye. You and I both know I don't look good. It's settled. I'm going to head on out and get a chocolate gift or two uh. for you. <laughs> uh, Fuyuta-san, can you give that chocolate to Yamane? He's really sad that he doesn't get any chocolate from anyone. Are you mad? This chocolate is for Onokun. Why should I give it to Yamane? Rats, no good. Doesn't anyone have any chocolate? Hold on, I got it! Hanawa-kun! Huh. It seems to me that another angel has just shown up with some chocolate for me. Listen, Hanawa-kun, you've got a lot of chocolate there already. Do you think you could spare one? Eh, but why should I give any to you? Last time I checked, you're the one who's meant to give me chocolate on Valentine's Day. Yeah, yeah, that's enough talk. You can spare one or two, right? I'm gonna give it to Yamane. <laughs> Do you fancy Yamane kun or something? No, it isn't that I fancy anyone. I don't know why, but I just decided to give some chocolate to Yamane kun. So, can you spare one for me, please? Hmm. You have to understand that these 42 gifts of chocolate contain the hearts of all the ladies who fancy me. I'm sorry, I can't afford to give even one of them to you. Did you say 42? You do know your nose will start to bleed if you eat them all. <sighs> so Hanawa-kun got 42 chocolate gifts. It's always been likely that rich people get more and more. Sorry, Yamane. I wasn't able to get any chocolate for you. If I ever end up owning a chocolate shop in the future, I'll give you one then, I promise. <sighs> That's many years away, and unreliable as well. I only 
have 50 yen. Do you think I could get some chocolate with that? For sure. 50 yen is enough for you to get some for your father as well. Yeah, but I can't get some for Grandpa. He'll be disappointed. Lucky Hiroshi. I didn't get some. Why is that? Huh? Hmm? That's Ono-kun. Hey! Ono-kun! Huh? <laughs> so, you got some chocolate from Fuyuta-san, huh? Huh? How on earth did you know about that? I bet you got more from others, too. Right, ladies' man? Am I right? <laughs> hey, don't mock me. Understand? Anyway, since we're on the subject, I'm not a big fan of sweets. Here, you can have them. Take them home. Yeah! Wow, what a stroke of luck! Are you sure it's all right with you? See you around. Pretty intense, huh? Yeah, that's Onokun for you. Still, what luck! I can give this to Grandpa now. Hold on. Onokun got this one from Fuyuta san. I wonder who gave him this one. Fuyuta san's chocolate. If I had known it would eventually end up in my hands, I would have given it to Yamane much earlier. What is it, Maru chan? You seem overly concerned about Yamane today. There are so many of them. It's hard to choose. Oh, bottle choco. My dad, he loves sake, so I'll get this. And it's just 10 yen a piece, so you can get five of them. I'm getting so excited about this. I wonder what dad's reaction will be. I'm sure he'll be happy about it. Yeah, you're right. He'll be glad very much. I'm home! Hey, Mom, what time is dad expected to be home tonight? I think about seven or eight. Need something? You're asking me what I need from him? You're his wife. Did you forget it's Valentine's Day? Oh, boy. You're right. It is Valentine's Day. I completely forgot that. I can't believe Mom forgot it's Valentine's Day. I guess a woman loses her sense of romance when she becomes a wife. Hey, Grandpa, are you busy? Hi, Maruko. You know, today is Valentine's Day, right? What? What day is that? I don't know the exact reason why, but today's the day a woman gives some chocolate to a man. So, in keeping with that tradition, I've got some chocolate for you. Here. Ooh. Wow! Thank you so much for that, Maruko. Do you believe Dad will be happy to get chocolate? He doesn't really eat sweets, remember? But this chocolate has filling in it. Sure, but it's still chocolate. Sure, it's still chocolate. But a chocolate with filling is something else. Oh, I absolutely love chocolates with filling in them. A single bite takes me to heaven. Say it, everyone. Long live the filled chocolate. I'm positive Dad will be happy with this gift. Ah, one more beverage, please. <sighs> Any chance of getting that today? All right, Dad, I've got it right here. Ah, great. Thank you very much. Here you go, Dad. Huh? What are these? These are bottled chocos, Dad. Bottled chocos? Today is Valentine's Day, so I'm giving these to you as a gift. Ah, uh, I see. It's Valentine's Day. You're up to speed on the latest fashions. Well, I know you love sake, so I bought you some chocolates with filling inside them. Maruko, you used to be so little. I didn't realize you've grown up so much that you're old enough to buy chocolates for me on Valentine's Day. Not just that, you chose chocolates with filling in them. It's amazing how grateful a child can be. You know, when you were born, I was quite disappointed. I kept thinking, no, not another girl. But while raising you, I stopped caring if you were a boy or a girl. I'm just grateful that you've grown up all nice and healthy. I'm so happy. Look, I understand that you're grateful I've grown up, but... Yes, go ahead, Maruko. Are you happy to receive these gifts from me? I want you to be honest about it. I... She has no idea how moved I am, not even a bit. Did you try your chocolates yet? Not yet, Maruko. It doesn't feel right to eat them up so quickly. It was a gift from you. It's over there. I've offered it to a deity as a gift. <coughs> That's not worthy of being a gift offered to a deity. That was a gift from Fuyuta-san to Ono-kun, and now that it's being offered to a deity, I'm gonna get punished. I beg you to eat the chocolates, Grandpa. What? Why is that? Uh, I'm just worried that it might upset the deity, that's all. Hey, I, I don't get it. Now I'm more confused. Just eat them quickly, please! Uh, uh, uh Maruko! 
please don't leave without answering my question. I'm so confused. <laughs> what is the reason Valentine's Day leaves me in puzzlement? By Tomozo, a haiku of mind. Grandpa's taking things way too seriously. I wonder if Dad has eaten his chocolates. Maruko gave me chocolates, but as you know, I'm not too fond of sweets, so they're all yours. If you like, try uh, them. Uh, how could you do that, Dad? I took the trouble of getting them for you, and you give them uh, away? But Maruko... How could you? I really hate you for this, Dad. <laughs> hey, no need to cry about this. That's right. Don't cry, Maruko. Look, I'm eating them. Do you see? Ah, uh, here it goes in my mouth. Are you watching this? I don't want you to make an effort to eat. What is it that you want me to do with them? All right, that's enough crying, please. I didn't think I could eat them all by myself, so I brought them here to share with the others. But obviously, that's not the right thing to do here. Phew, I almost got into trouble there. I can't handle it if Maruko cries. I'm backing off. I wonder what kind of chocolate she's given me. Let's take a look. Oh, what is this? <laughs> Ah, uh, so, it seems, according to Maruko, my name is Ono, and her name is Fuyata from now on. Everything about Valentine's Day turns out to be a total mystery for Tomozo. Elsewhere, around the same time... <gasps> the chocolate I got from Ono-kun is obligatory. It's good I didn't give it to my dad by mistake. Oh, I don't care if it's obligatory. Young master, this year you received 53 gifts. Well, what else would you expect? Hmm. I wonder if Onokun tried the chocolates I gave him. And that is how each of these kids spends the night on Valentine's Day. Maruko hates woolen panties. Oh, I can't believe how cold it is. Yeah, I know. I wish this were a kotatsu instead of a plain table. I think that's a bit much to ask. At the very least, regulation should permit us to bring a blanket. Sure, I think that's a brilliant idea, considering all we're permitted to do at this moment is wear a pair of woolen underwear to school. What? Don't tell me that you're still wearing woolen underwear, Maru-chan. Eh? Oh, oh. Of course not, because those are for little children. Nobody our age wears them, right? You're right. Just the thought makes me laugh. <laughs> I'm in no position to laugh here, given that I'm wearing woolen underwear under my skirt as we speak. Hey, would you mind if I took a look at your underwear, sis? Huh? I just want to see if you're wearing woolen panties. Huh? Of course not. Are you nuts? Uh, my sister isn't wearing them either. So I'm the only one who's got woolen underwear on. But not for long. Hey. <laughs> Goodbye and good riddance, woolen panties. Maruko, how could you just leave your woolen underwear in the hallway? It's rather sloppy of you, don't you think? I no longer wear woolen panties. Why should I? No one else does. Well, you don't need to worry about that at your age. You're still a little girl, understand? I don't want to. I'll be embarrassed if others find out I still wear them. You're not going to be showing them off, so why are you worried? Besides, they're cute. No, they're not cute! Well, I remember when woolen underwear used to be a luxury item. I won't let your selfish attitude allow you to waste things. You're gonna wear them quietly. Here's an idea. How about you use those woolen panties for something else, Maruko? Such as? How's this? You could turn the underwear into a cap by sewing up the leg holes. What a brilliant idea, Grandpa. I can't believe these used to be woolen panties. Uh, a miracle. Transformation of panties into a hat. By Tomozo, a haiku of mind. Good idea. I suggest you get one yourself. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a perverted old man. I bought them for you as I thought you'd like them. Now you don't want to wear them anymore. It makes me quite sad. The next morning... 
Oh, it's so cold. Maruko, why don't you just wear these woolen panties? No way. I won't be wearing woolen panties anymore. Yeah, you're right. I understand. You're in the third grade already. Right. Mom looks a little upset now. Two years ago. Momoko, I'm going clothes shopping. You coming too? Okay. Uh, How about this red one? It looks so cute. Then let's take it, Mom. I like that too. With this, you'll be nice and warm in the winter. After that, on the way home, Mom bought a bun for me. I was so happy then. I have lots of happy memories with the woolen panties. And instead of valuing them here, I'm trying my best to get rid of them. But now I know that isn't the right thing for me to do. Hold on, Mom. I've realized I was wrong about everything. The woolen panties aren't at fault here. They what? What are you saying? Of course the woolen panties aren't to be blamed for anything here. Now, what's going on? Huh? The panties remind me of a bun, Mom, right? Do you remember that? I see. I'm not sure if those panties remind me of a bun. I really don't recall anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's fine. I've decided I'm gonna wear them now. Besides, no one can see them when I put my pants on over them, right? All clear. Measurements will be taken during the second lesson, so we'll move on to the infirmary. What? Measurements today? You're kidding! <laughs> what now? Shall I go to the restroom so I can take these panties off? Okay, can I have all the girls in first? Uh, uh, well, there goes the restroom plan. <laughs> Right. Just remain calm and carry out mission woolen panties. First, my jacket and my top. And then, off come the pants and the woolen panties. Gotta be careful not to take off my underwear along with the rest. I'll make sure the woolen panties can't be seen in the pants. Now hide the woolen panties at the bottom of the pile. Done. Here you go, Sakura-san. This is your way. <laughs> Thank goodness it's all over. Now to get dressed quickly. Mara-chan, how much do you weigh? Uh, Tama-chan. Wow, she got dressed real quick. Oh, I'm 25 kilograms. I really haven't changed much since the last time. Oh, 25 kilograms? Who cares whether I weigh 25 kilograms or 50 kilograms or more? Just stay away for now, I beg you. I weigh about 26 kilograms. Just one more kilogram than you. Cool. Uh, I'm a little busy with my woolen panties situation here, all right? Hey, Maru-chan, get dressed quick. The boys are coming in soon. I'll wait right here so we can walk out together, okay? What? Uh, oh, boy. If I knew this would happen, then I wouldn't have hidden the woolen panties at the very bottom of the pile. It was unlikely that the woolen panties would have peeked out from the edges of the pants. Instead of worrying about that, I should have set it up in a way that I could have put on the pants and woolen panties at once. Oh, how stupid. I just wasn't thinking. This is when you really wish you had a time machine handy. Uh... What now? Just be cool. Just be cool. I have to come up with a way out of this. All right, then come on now. You've got this. I got it. I totally forgot that I'm wearing a top with pockets today. So I'll put my top on first, and right after that, I'll grab my pants and the woolen panties hidden at the bottom of the pile. Then I secretly put the panties in the pocket. You're a genius in your head. Nice. Mara-chan, come on, step on it. Don't rush through this. I have to start with the top, and then I grab the woolen panties with the pants, and that should do it. Good. This is working. This part was a success. And now, all I do is secretly move the woolen panties into the pocket. Yes, panties are in the pocket. The mission is complete. Wait a sec. Let me just put my pants on. What? Uh, oh no! Why is my woolen underwear on the floor? I, I thought I successfully put them in my pocket. This is so weird. It can't be! These are my socks! I'm a put my socks in my pocket instead! Maru-chan, you 
You need to get your pants on right now, or... Oh, look! Uh, Woolen panties on the floor! Oh, yeah, I saw them earlier. They've been there for a while now. I don't know. I guess some first or second grade kid must have forgotten them up here. Yeah, you're right. I'm sure of it. Only a first or second grade kid will wear something like this to school. Teacher! I found a pair of woolen panties. I don't know whose they are. Come on, Tama-chan. Unfortunately, there's no name. Oh, well. I guess I'll just have to get this to every class. Thank you for bringing this to me. Teacher's going to take that pair of woolen panties to each and every class. I'm sure the owner will be found soon. Hey, take it to each and every class. Oh, boy. These woolen panties will be shown to everyone in school. Not long after, the woolen panties were circulated through the classes and eventually landed at my class. Did anyone here leave these woolen panties in the infirmary earlier? <laughs> he said woolen panties? <laughs> I'm a lonely stone statue, petrified and looking on at the ringing laughter. It's all over for me. And that is how a prank memory of her woolen panties was transformed into a dark one. Oh, please. I want to forget all about the woolen panties. Somebody please help me forget! Oh, check this out. A pair of woolen panties was being circulated as a lost item. Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> yeah, it is funny. Whoever dropped it was too embarrassed to claim it. <laughs> it would be funny if it were Maruko's, right? <laughs> Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Seeing her drop her miso soup, all the family members realized it was Maruko's. However, understanding how tragic the incident is, no one pursues it any further, and the soup is cleaned up in absolute silence. <laughs> <laughs>